Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. I hope you guys are doing well. So this is our third video on Microsoft Power Automate Cloud Flows. In last video, we have seen types of flows in Power Automate and we have seen the demo of them. Also, I have given you the project overview of leave approval flow that we are going to discuss in this video. One eternity later. So this is our local form with us in this local excel we have this form in this form contain employee id employee name uh, leave start date leave end date type of leave reason for leave so these fields it has this form has and we will attach this local excel form file in a mail and we will send this see see here who's the yeah, let me just show you my mail to you first see this let's say Vinay is an employee and he will send mail to leave approval team so see I have chosen the name like this leave approval team so Vinay will send mail to leave approval team as soon as leave approval team will receive one mail what will happen a flow will trigger at the back end okay so this is the trigger of the flow when leave approval team receive a mail from employee a flow will trigger what will happen when the flow will trigger first thing first this local file will saved in some online space let's say onedrive or sharepoint document library uh, in my case i'm going to use sharepoint document library you can save it to onedrive as well so once this file is saved in sharepoint document library this local excel will now be in, uh, will now be called as online excel now once this excel is in online space i can retrieve the data from this online excel and save it in sharepoint online list now if you don't know the difference between document library and online list basic difference is document library is just like a folder you can say folder in a folder you can uh, hold multiple files right you can hold doc files pdf files and so on and so forth files but a list is kind of a table where you have columns and rows simple okay that is the difference between document library and list now once uh, let's say let me just show you the sharepoint list first so that you will get the better idea see this this is the list table leave request i have the same column up here employee id employee name start date end date type of leave approval request reason for leave okay and the same thing you might be seeing up here right so this is the uh, this is the same thing we I have in my list. So I'll extract the data from this Excel and save it inside this online list. Once the data is inside this list, what will happen? Let me just delete this data. This is just for an example. Okay. So another flow will trigger. So see till here, like it is a part of one flow. Then the new flow will trigger. What the new flow will do? It will send an approval mail to my manager. See this. This is the this is my manager mail manager zero one okay so let's say Vinay's manager is Vinay's manager is manager zero one and the leave approval team is this one leave approval okay so I have three mails mails with me so once manager will receive that approval he can either approve or reject based on his approval I'll again receive an email saying that my leave request is got rejected or approved okay. Now let's see the whole flow. So I am here at Vinay's email. So Vinay will do what? He will generate an email and say he will send the mail to leave approval team. And note that the subject should contain the word leave to trigger the flow. So I'll say leave request form. And if I have my employee ID, I'll put my employee ID up here. Or I can I can put my name. Okay, like this. Then here I need to insert the file so I'll attach the I'll click on this I'll click on this I'll browse this computer and my file is in this folder so see this is the leave approval form you can see see up here leave approval form so I just need to extract data from this form okay so firstly I need to select this excel click on open see this excel is being attached now everything is done. No, I don't need to write anything inside body. I just need to attach this form and click on send. As soon as I click on send, my flow will trigger. First thing first, leave approval team will receive this mail. See, leave approval team received the mail. Okay, uh, this is the this is the file that I have sent to them. So let me just show you the content. See this employee ID is one zero two one two. My name. 
this start date end date type of sickly viral fever i have written okay so as soon as they received this mail and back and automated flow would have triggered so see if let me go to flows so these are the two flows we have one is leave approval mail flow other another one is manager approval flow so see here this flow will trigger first so as you can see up here 28 second ago it got succeeded so first first thing first uh, this flow will send me one mail saying like this hi vinay your leave request has been pending with your manager first mail is this that i have received that uh, my request has been pending with my manager okay so my manager will receive one approval mail but let's see uh, is the let's refresh up here so you can see up here just now like this data has been created up here approval status is pending so if i'll move to my manager mails let me refresh my manager mail up here let's see if he received that approval or not till now he hasn't received so let's let's wait for some time one eternity later yeah see i received this mail so in this mail i am saying hi manager 01 so since the name of my manager is this only manager 01 otherwise you will see your manager name up here hope you are doing well a new leave request have been raised by vinay reason is viral fever please respond asap kind kind regards leave approval team so let's say if we uh, choose to approve he will say okay vinay take rest take care like this if my manager is good he will he will approve my request and he will cl click on submit as soon as he will click on submit what will happen first thing first here the status is pending the status will change to approve i'll receive one mail then uh, saying that my manager has approved my see here the status is changed to approve see here my manager comment came okay we need take care and in my email also you can see i would have received one mail from my manager or leave approval team here see i receive mail from instead uh, to instead i receive mail from leave approval team not from my manager because everything is automated right here it is saying that hi vinay your leave request has been approved okay comment by your manager okay vinay take care okay so this is the whole project that we are we are going to build so i hope you guys are excited so if you are don't forget to subscribe this channel like this video hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos let's get started so first thing first how did i made this form okay now i know many of you can build this form but uh, for those who can't i'll explain each and everything okay each and everything see this i created a new excel and here see if i go to view again let me just show you if i remove this grid line it will look like a blank page or blank canvas let me enable it okay let's select like a four five or maybe six cells okay just select first two lines select all of these cells go to home merge the center do like this here say leave approval form just write like this uh maybe keep the font size as 20 uh sometimes you have to select the whole thing then you have to change the font size size okay and see this is center align and this is center justify center okay the content is in center and it is center align uh you can give background color if you want uh, let's give like this dark blue font color i can keep like this i can make this a little bit bold uh let's make it 16 okay okay this is done now let me take uh, maybe this much a space okay this much a space i'll use and i'll say border all borders okay but not uh, don't use all border but use this outside border instead press control z control z again click on this and click on this outside border instead of border okay so that you will have like border from all the sides now select two maybe like these two cells okay let's select these two cells merge uh, let's merge them okay <clears throat> and here here what i'll say employee id okay like this i can i can say okay and let me decrease the size let me increase the size 
it's totally totally up to you okay and let's uh, let's increase the size way too much okay this is this much is fine let me merge these two and here I'll write employee name okay let's merge these two here I'll write uh, start leave start date okay let's merge these two uh, leave end date okay here I'll say type of leave okay now reason for leave if you want you can you can give email as well but I don't think email is required anyway we are using this flow right so email will automatically come now see let me just again select all of these I'll say no border first and then I'll se select like till here maybe or maybe till here and I'll say border outside borders okay now once this is done here I'll click on this cell I'll say all borders I'll again click on the cell all borders click on the cell all borders okay just repeat this step once this is done then done uh, you can decrease the size a little bit also you can decrease the size or in maybe increase the size okay so see our form is ready now I'll go to view I'll remove this grid line so see up here isn't it looking good maybe not but yeah it's it's fine okay it's fine for our like uh, project our basic project this is fine you can provide note like uh, the start date should not be you can give note like this note the start date should not be greater than end date I can just copy this let me just copy this better okay you can also just take a screenshot of it and just write the same note here so that uh, no one will get confused like okay now here in this form in my previous form if you will see I have also added validations here see if I try to provide it like a uh, wrong date let's say 10 15 2023 and if I go to another date see it is saying format should be MMDD yy or date should be greater than today's date so i am seeing this error validation error i am getting so i'll say retry now let me write like uh, 9 2023 so see this is correct right 9 is in future so i can select future date now if i select like 11 5 so my end date is less than start date right which is wrong end date will always be greater than a start date otherwise how we will calculate the leaves if you will take leave today so that you are taking leave for the future right not for the past so see date should be greater than or equal to it is saying a start date so let me write like here 10 2023 then this is fine okay so date pay you can you can give validations and all and here i have created one drop down casual leave sick leave maternity paternity leave so where do you get this go to see this go to data section go to data validation click on data validation see the select uh, contain without I'll click on yes and here see uh, firstly you need to select a list okay select a list and then provide the source with comma separated uh, casual leave comma sick leave comma maternity leave like this let me just copy this uh, whole text let's see if I'm able to copy yeah I'm able to copy it let me close this from here let me go to my new that here and I'll click on this cell I'll go to see data section first here data validation is there I'll click on data validation here it is saying any no it should be a list what is the source so I'll provide this list and I'll hit on ok so see I'll see this drop down right so I'm seeing this drop down another data validations you can again put the data validations from up here see it should be a date so firstly make it a sorry date so make it date date uh, instead of this I'll say greater than or equal to I'll press equal to sign and then today function okay this is this much is fine I'll click on okay so data validation is done for this field 
Okay, now if I try to enter text in this again, see, I'm seeing this error. Now this error is like this, this value doesn't match, but this is not a custom, the message should be like a little bit different. So just go again, go to data validation, go to error alert. Here you can say date error. So the title will be date error. Date should be in mm dd y y y format and start leave star and leave start date should be greater than or equal to today's date i'll say okay and if I'll press on OK, see if this time if I write something like this, so see, firstly the title I'm seeing is date error, then they should be in MMDD triple Y for four Y format and leave leave a start date should be greater than or equal to today's date. So fine, right? Now leave end date pay again, you have to set a data validation. Firstly, here's error pay, just write again date error. Or uh, date error. So here I'll say end date should not be smaller than start date. Okay, end date should not be smaller than a start date. It can they can be like a, a greater but cannot be smaller. Okay, and here also I'll select it can be greater, not a smaller. It can be equal. Okay, I'll select date instead of between. I'll say <clears throat> greater than or equal to again here also I'll say greater than or equal to okay uh, let me open this equal to what so my end date is in in this cell right so the cell is i20 okay whatever it, it has automatically taken I'll press okay now if I put some date up here let's say 11 5 2023 which is a valid date now if, if I enter a date like this 11 4 2023 so it it is a validation issue okay so it should have given me an error there is some issue let me check uh, greater than or equal to greater than okay see I have selected the wrong cell I have selected the wrong cell I have to select this cell okay uh, the cell name is L18 okay let me I18 sorry press ok and again I have to let's let's write some smaller date and let me press enter so here see here see error date error and end date should not be smaller than start date so I'll say retry uh, let me this time enter let's say 4 4 is also error let's keep it like 5 so yeah 5 is fine okay now type of leave I can select let's uh, not paternity but let's take sick leave reason for leave high fever i'll say high fever from last night okay give some valid reason give your valid ids let me give some like random numbers here and on employee name let's uh, let me use my name win lmc i'll say okay so this is the form that i have filled okay once this form is filled i'll save this form uh See, firstly I'll close this go to file go to save I'll browse let me save it in desktop okay for now I'll say leave approval form I can give my name it doesn't the file name doesn't matter you can even give test okay but this should be Excel workbook okay note the save as type should be Excel workbook don't select any other type and click on save once like this is saved so you have your form with you. Alright, so let's keep this video till here. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did enjoy it, and if you learned something from it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos on this project. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye.